Hey, this is Tanya with ScrappyChicks.com and your creative partner with Kiwi Lane. And we have made it to the 12th day of the 12 days of Halloween. So happy Halloween. Today is the final project share from Scrappy Chicks. And this is an entry that I'm doing for another crafter on YouTube. Um, I think she pronounces it Ventiquities. And her birthday's in October. So she wanted... Um, like embellishments and things if someone wanted to submit things for a challenge so she wanted to build up her Halloween stash since she her birthday month is in October so what I did for her challenge was I created instead of a loaded bag and a, or a loaded envelope I did a, a loaded embroidery hoop and I'll try and show you the whole thing so this is the top and I hot glued a hat Actually, it's a hairband from Walmart. It was 98 cent and I glued that hot glued that on and I put trim around the edge and So I, what I'm going to do is unload this with you and show it to you. It is front and back So we'll do let's do the back side first And I have everything like paper clipped on here Okay, so we'll start with the back side so this is the back of the embroidery hoop. I got an embroidery hoop from Michaels. I think you can buy them at Walmart, a wooden one. And I painted it black. And then I hot glued the trim around the edge. And I ordered the trim from Walmart.com. And so I made individual embellishments and put them in packaging for her. If she wants to re-gift them, she can. If she wants to reuse them, she can. So I gave her options. So this is a chunky flower using Kiwi Lane flower templates. And I will list all the templates in the description below. Um, so I made a chunky flower. And I've done a tutorial on this. Um, there's a past in one of my days of chunky flower tutorial so you can go back and watch that to learn how to make these so i did one of these and the paper line i'm using is from echo park and it's called bewitched and i love that paper line so and i'll show you the inspiration paper in just a moment so then i did a chunky flower of course i did a memory dex card because i love these so good so i did a memory dex card using the haunted um template that's the house and again, I'm going to leave all the templates in the description below. And I added a rosette. And then I made her. So I paper clipped a bag topper on because I wanted to make it where she could use it if she wanted to. If you staple these, sometimes they tear and rip. And the recipient can't reuse it because it messes them up. But I wanted her to be able to use these. So I made a bag topper using... Um, Again, Kiwi Lane templates, and I elongated it. So, and then I did a chunky cauldron flower, and then I added the stars and the butterfly on there. And we'll get to, to the reason why we have butterfly and Halloween in just a second. And then I made her two tags using the tag set from Kiwi Lane. So I ha I used two tags and then just layered them on top, and I used stickers from that Bewitched Echo Park. This is the back of the hoop, and this is actually the pocket. But my inspiration for the whole entire project was this piece of paper that has the potion bottles and the cauldrons. And then they added in wildflowers, but they added in butterflies. And butterflies and Halloween do not usually go together. But in this case, it did, and I loved it. Loved it, loved it. So this ended up, this one piece of 12 by 12 scrapbooking paper ended up being my um, inspiration piece to this whole project. So this is the back side, okay? So I'm going to flip this over and show you the front. So the Bewitch part was actually the front cutout. Um, All of Echo Park does a front cover page and it puts little sn snippets of you to see what's in the pack. And so I fussy cut this out. And I love this witch because she's a redhead and I'm a redhead too. So, and then I, so I made her kind of chunky and then I put the tool from the Dollar Tree behind it and hot glued it. Okay, so in this pocket, this is another bag topper I made using Lacy Trims template. And then I did a crepe paper rosette. 
And so I made this so she could use it again or re-gift it to someone else. And that's why I paper clipped that on there. Then I made her three paper clip embellishments using the whole paper line. So as you can see, the thing runs the same. This is a shaker. Love shakers. So I did a tutorial on how to make these two. Um, so that's uploaded on you on my YouTube channel. This is using festival, the festival template. So they make fabulous shakers. I love them. And then these are cupcake rosettes. So this is cupcake liner that I cut. And I can do a tutorial on that if someone's interested. I'll be glad to post one on how to make those. Those are really easy um, and a lot of fun to make. So I made those cupcake rosettes and used the stickers from the Bewitched Echo Park line paper kit. And these are two more bag toppers that I used. If she wants to use it as an embellishment, she can. And I used the Lacy Trims template set to get this lacy edge here. And again, I put a butterfly, but when she takes this out of the package, I made the butterfly where you can stand the wings up. Um, that way it'll give it some dimension depending on what she wants to use it for. So, and then this is the front of the hoop itself. So this is a pocket here. So you have a pocket here and a pocket here. So this one's deeper, of course, and this one's more shallow. And then I hot glued the trim around the edge. And then she also requested a card. So I made her a mini file folder card. I have just started teaching myself how to make these and I love them. So I did a crepe paper rosette and I used my favorite witch, which matches the witch on the front. I put her on there and then this opens up and I left room for her to put um, a piece of white cardstock and write a sentiment, sentiment on there. And this says bubble bubble toil in trouble fire burn and cauldron bubble so this is a sticker out of the same coordinating set and i put it on foam tape but this is just a file folder card and i just used the paper out of the kit and i am going to make her a coordinating envelope for this to slide into so she did want a car a blank card that she could use or re-gift for someone else um, and then, as a side note, I got her the cutest little <laughs> bucket from, this was from Walmart. Um, and I think he has the sweetest little face. To me, that is adorable. So I got me one too, because I like this bucket so good. Not that I need it, but I like it. And it was only 98 cents. But he has the sweetest little face. So I got this little bucket that I'm just going to add in. I'm going to put some of the crepe paper in there and put her some candy in there and send that to her as a just a little um, a side piece. Uh, her birthday was October the 13th, and she's doing this challenge um, through October 31st. So, And I'll leave a link in my YouTube um, for you if you want to check out her YouTube channel and see all the other entries. They are a lot of fun I don't know that she knows about Kiwi Lane, but she will when she receives all of this um, she will um, See what Kiwi Lane's all about too. So that'll be fun for her to see So thank you for hanging out with me for 12 days of Halloween. I've had a blast um, It's been a learning experience. I am not new to crafting or paper crafting, but I am new to YouTube and I am new to putting myself out there. So, and that's not as easy as some crafters make it look on here. Um, so yeah, it, it, it's not as easy as it looks, but it's a lot of fun and I've learned a lot. So I will be doing a, an embroidery hoop tutorial for Christmas. So I'm going to make another one. And I'm going to do it for Christmas. And so that will be coming in December when I do all of my Christmas stuff. But next next up that's coming is fall. And then I'll be working on Christmas. So thank you so much. If you like my videos, please subscribe. Follow me. Um, um, all my links are on my page as always. And I'll have detailed pictures as well. Um, a coordinating blog post and so I, I document all of my crafts so you can go back and look and maybe print them out for inspiration and I'm going to put this back together and get it in the mail today. So thank you very much. Bye-bye.